Hi all. So today's topic of discussion is about attributes of strong brand. So we know like you know there are number of brands available in the market. So be it into apparel, be it into laptops, be it into you know like automobiles, IT, IDES, or you know like be it into like normal consumer durables. We have you know lot of brands, and we understand like how a brand you know feels when you buy a brand new product. Uh, so you always feel like you know why the product is called as a brand. So these brands have certain attributes into it. That's the reason you know like they have been built themselves as a stronger brand. So let us discuss quickly to understand like what are the attributes a strong brand have or has, and what it should have for a normal brand to be a stronger brand. So uh, attributes of a stronger brand, like uh, every strong brands have some attributes which been discussed. These attributes helps the brand to be stronger in the market. So these are you know like quickly the attributes of the stronger brand. So the first attribute is you know the brand excels at delivering the benefits consumers truly desire. So in simple delivering the benefits that consumers are truly desire. Strong brands. Always try to, you know, meet or exceed customers' expectations by delivering the benefits consumers truly looking for. Like, let's say I would like to purchase a smartphone, and you know, like while purchasing a smartphone, my uh, intention or my, you know, like feature what I'm looking into is, you know, some good camera with high resolution where I can take some selfie videos. So I have come across, you know, recently with an Oppo Reno4. So where, um, you know, like uh, I felt. That this is something good, and you know uh, the camera and everything seems to be good, and the brand or the product satisfied my benefit, or uh, what I'm looking into is being satisfied with that product. So I felt it, you know, like while using the product, I felt like yeah, this product is something good. So I felt like you know this product is a brand for me. So delivering or you know meeting the true benefits for the customers is the first. And strong most attribute for a brand. The next attribute is the brand stays relevant. The brand delivered product, service, or brand should be relevant with the customer's desire. The brand should understand the customer's tastes, current market conditions, and trends, and deliver the benefits accordingly. I can use the same example. Like let's say I uh, thought to have a better camera version of a smartphone when i looked into it when i did a market research there are a number of camera phones available with different kinds of features and functionalities but there is only one phone or two phones i felt like you know they are giving what i'm exactly looking out and uh, the features are almost almost matching uh, with my you know uh, the requirement so those phones are something like you know delivering the benefits which are relevant to a customer's requirement the third most attribute is the pricing strategy should be based on consumer's perception of value based on your brand value pricing should be optimized as well as the cost and quality to meet or exceed customer expectations like let's say you are a new entrant to the market and it's been a two years or three years down the line your brand or your the product uh, is in the market whereas <clears throat> there are other competitors who have been in the market since the last decade or you know like 15 years so you being uh, having a product of you know launching two to three years down the line but you are charging very high rather than your competitors you know even though you have you know good features functionalities and everything for your product uh, but you have to make sure that you know like how since how many years in the market how is your brand level and how you are meeting your customer satisfaction level or not whether the products are relevant to the customers or not you have to you know like analyze and evaluate all these parameters before you know going ahead with the pricing strategy so this is the third attribute the fourth attribute is you know like the brand should be positioned well yeah this is what i thought to discuss about uh, uh, if you would like to know more about you know, like market po marketing positioning how the positioning helps you out uh, so i've just dropped you an URL in the description box, you know, like uh, 
to understand like what is market segmentation targeting and positioning so that it will make you more sense to understand like about the positioning perceptual maps and all these things so let us quickly discuss about you know like the brand should be positioned well so let's say um, yeah I'll come back with the same old example like you know like uh, I thought to buy or purchase a smartphone when I felt like you know to buy a smartphone with all other qualities uh, with you know like the requirement of mine so the first thing or the first brand recall I had is Samsung because I've been using Samsung uh, you know like since uh, uh, more than a, you know like decade and uh, uh, I understood like what exactly the brand has delivered to me so this is what uh, the Samsung had positioned, you know, themselves in the mindset of mine. So that when I'm planning to purchase a smartphone with my requirement, with you know so and so budget and so and so thing, then the first thing you know like uh, buzz me is that Samsung. So that's what called as you know the brand positioning. So the brand should be positioned well in the consumer's mindset, and the brand should be consistent. So uh, let's say, uh, as said in the earlier example, let's say after using Samsung, I felt like you know there are some issues with the Samsung, and uh, I should feel like you know like uh, for the next version at least the Samsung should come up with you know on the uh, solving the default uh, errors. So uh, as I uh, had the thought, the same way around you know like has been done with the brand of Samsung. For the next version they have resolved lot of errors and they have come up with you know an innovative product so there samsung is maintaining a consistency so where they are launching a new product with new updates and new innovation so the brand always should you know like make a consistency in the market the brand portfolio and hierarchy the brand should create a seamless umbrella for all the brands in the portfolio for example, top companies like HUL, ITC, Procter & Gamble have all the brands and have a brand hierarchy that is well thought out and understood. This helps the consumers as well as companies to have a clear picture about the brand. Even though I have you know, cited these examples for the consumer durables, if I talk about the same kind of example of Samsung for the smartphones, you could see like you know there are different pricing structure for different products under uh, the Samsung you know it's under the Samsung brand you have different marketing segmentation different target marketing and different positioning for the different products under one umbrella so be it Samsung uh, you know like a smartphone uh, with a 70k budget or be it a 10k budget be it, a, be it a 30k budget you know like you have various products under it with various pricing strategies and you know various brand portfolio and hierarchy under one category the other attribute you know the brand should make use of all the marketing activities the brand should always focus on all the marketing strategies and marketing promotional activities and you know like to ensure that the brand is reaching to the target audience on time and the branding promotional activities should be always different and unique so that you know when the consumer or the when the user will see they should recall that yeah this is of so and so brand so uh, you know like there are number of uh, brands which have been achieved through you know like when we see their logo we will definitely come up by saying that yeah that's of you know so and so brand so when you see an apple logo you will definitely say that it's a macbook or a mac pad or you know like ipad or you know iphone because the apple logo is being associated with these products or these products are being associated with you know the apple logo uh, so these are the things like you know which makes uh, sense like you know uh, the way of your unique branding for your products so this is another attribute for your stronger brand and the company should understand what the brand means to consumer they should work on the customers like dislikes what the brand a detailed research of the brand target customers can really help to create the brand and create a stronger brand value so uh, so recently i have come across you know like uh, different surveys from top top brands to understand like how the consumers behave on the online market what kind of you know feedback they're giving you know like what they have liked and what they have disliked and what is the important thing that they should focus on to move it to the next level so this is something you know the other attribute of a brand
the next attribute of a brand you know the brand should do what it promises it should meet the customers expectations there should not be any difference between the reality of the brand and promoted brand this can hamper your credibility the brand should be appealing the promised value and delivered value should be the same so please note the promised value and the delivered value should be the same so like let's say uh, i have seen a promotional campaign of a smartphone uh, with you know like uh, the same old example of you know like uh, the promotional content of the smartphone or the ad uh, shows that you know like it has a nice camera with all the requirement of mine has been matching and uh, I have noted on everything and went uh, online or you know like I found out it in the physical store uh, just checked out you know like the features and uh, when I saw the phone uh, then I felt like you know like uh, the promotions which has you know like shown all the features and functionalities are not matching with my expectations or with my requirement and I'll definitely feel bad about the brand and you know like I'll feel that uh, they have promised something you know like on the promotional campaigns but they are not delivering the same on the product so I'll you know like uh, feel that you know this is not a brand and whenever you know if someone talks about that brand I'll talk about negatively for that brand so it is always important that you know the promised value should meet the delivered value and the brand should be given proper and sustained support the brand should understand clearly about the success and failures of marketing programs based on the output of the marketing program should be changed brand should be given complete r d support so that the brand will have a greater output let me come up with the same example i purchased the you know like smartphone and after you know like uh, Unfortunately, let's say the smartphone has fell down and you know like I had some breakage on my phone Then I should have the stronger support system or you know like a technical support system or a research system where I can go easily or you know like I can raise a ticket or you know like I have a support system very quickly uh, So that you know they'll resolve everything as per my need and it should be done as quickly as possible uh, it's for the technical product I'm talking about if it's not for a technical product let's say you have you know something purchased on the retail market and it is not well or you need some support for that product then you should get it at the earliest so when you get the support thing at the earliest the consumers generally feel very happy and they'll psychologically very happy which in fact shows that uh, it's an important thing that you know, the consumer will pass on to the next consumer with a word of mouth by saying that yeah that's a very good brand and they have a very good after sales support as well so this is this is something another attributes of a stronger brand so the brand should create a brand charter that defines the meaning and the equity of the brand and how the brand should be treated the brand should take care of each and every aspect with complete responsibility for monitoring and preserving the brand equity so the brand should consider each and every attributes properly to, to make themselves as a stronger brand in the market and implement each attribute properly and you know like build themselves as a stronger brand uh, hope uh, you know like uh, this is something you have understood to make it or summarize into like you know um, the complete uh, attributes the stronger brand should be relevant, consistent, properly positioned, sustainable, unique, attractive, innovative, popular, valuable and moreover trustworthy. The trust value and brand value are directly proportional. Please note the trust value and brand value are directly proportional. The customer's trust value, if it increases, then obviously the company's brand value will grow. So both of them are directly proportional. So it is important to make yourself better and you know make your brand stronger by you know getting much more trusted value from your customers hope uh, you have understood like the attributes of a stronger brand how you know like brands can be built and how you know normal brand can be a stronger brand by using these attributes uh, if you have something to drop on please write it out in the comment section box and 
if you really like the video please subscribe to our channel pi m square academy for more videos on you know like entrepreneurship marketing and you know coming up with different new new concept of digital marketing as well thanks a lot for watching this video please subscribe to our channel pi m square academy and please follow us on our social media channels thanks a lot for watching this video